Homebuyers in the Chicago metro area continue to be frustrated with the lack of options available to them. Home inventory is at historic lows because all the existing homeowners are reluctant to sell their houses and let go of their low interest rates in exchange for those that are well above 7%. And as a result, they're opting just not to sell at all. But because of that, many buyers are getting creative and they're turning towards new construction instead. So in this video, we're gonna go over what the pros and cons are of buying a new construction home. So make sure to watch all the way to the end to determine if it's the right choice for you or not. Hi, my name is Peter and I'm a realtor here in the Chicago metro area. If you're looking to move here or if you're just looking to learn a little bit more about what it's like to live here, feel free to reach out. All my contact info is down below. I'm sure that my team and I can help you out. Okay, let's start with the pros and pro number one has to be that if you're buying new construction, you're going to be getting the most up-to-date features and designs. While existing homes will typically require at least some work or remodeling to bring them up to today's standards, new construction homes are built from the ground up for today's buyers. This means that you'll probably see a lot of things like open floor plans, smart home features, and a lot of energy efficient materials and systems. I recently sold a few new construction townhomes over in Lyle and they were pretty incredible. They had things like an ensuite bathroom with every single bedroom, a massive open kitchen, every single appliance was a smart home appliance that was connected through Wi-Fi, and in general it was things that existing homes rarely if ever have but they were all packed into this new home, which is a huge benefit of new construction. So if you don't wanna go through the hassle of knocking down walls, meeting with contractors, or just doing a lot of the work yourself, and you particularly like today's design trends, the new construction will be the best option for you. The next pro about buying new construction is that in many cases, you'll actually have a lot of options for customization. If you purchase the property before it's fully completed, builders will typically allow you to pick the paint colors, the flooring, and many of the other finishes to match your preference. Of course, this typically won't be an option if you're purchasing an existing home because all of those designs and finishes will be the preferences of the previous owner, not you. And chances are they're not gonna be very willing to change things before they sell the home. So some work will be needed if you're purchasing an existing home. That won't be necessarily the case if you're purchasing new construction. So if you know you want a particular countertop or a particular paint color, or even just wanna add an extra bedroom to the home, new construction is gonna provide you with that flexibility. And if you find a lot of value in moving into a house that's 100% the way you want it from day one, definitely new construction should be at the top of the list for you. The next pro to purchasing new construction homes is that they will typically have what's called a builder's warranty. While everything is newly built, it is not uncommon for builders to sometimes overlook particular aspects of the home as they're building it, especially if they're on a rush timeline. Now, when you're purchasing new, you expect everything to be working properly. You don't wanna to have to deal with any foundation issues, roof issues, window issues, or anything in between. So that's where the builder's warranty comes in because if there is an issue that arises in the first few years of you living at the home, you can bring that up to the builder and the warranty will cover it, they'll come over, they'll fix it, and it won't be a charge to you. Now with existing home sales, sometimes there are home warranties that are passed on to the buyer for the first few years of them living in the home. However, I find that those warranties don't always cover everything that they need to and they're just not very effective. So the builder warranties should provide you with a lot more peace of mind. Another pro to new construction homes is that while the sales price might not always be very flexible, builders will oftentimes offer incentives in the form of lower interest rates, reduced closing costs, and other upgrades to attract buyers to purchase their developments. So while the sticker price may seem like a whole lot more compared to existing home sales, these incentives can sometimes make up that difference. With new construction, I always recommend asking if there's any incentives or flexibility with the terms because in the new construction homes that I mentioned, in Lyle earlier in this video, the developer of that project offered a fair amount of closing costs. In fact, it was right around $10,000 to the new buyers at closing, and they wouldn't have gotten that if they didn't ask. So there's always some sort of incentives to be offered. You just got to make sure you go out and look for them. Okay, so we hit a lot of the pros about new constructions, but like with everything, there's some cons as well. So let's talk about those. Now, the first con of buying new construction homes is that you'll likely be paying a premium in order to get them. Now, I know we just talked about all the incentives that are typically offered. However, the sticker prices are usually going to be a fair amount higher than market value for the neighborhood. Things like scarcity of land and the rising labor and material costs are a major reason for this. And especially recently where the interest rates are much higher than they have been years past, 
the margins for builders are a lot smaller than they have ever been. But keep in mind that you are buying everything new. So whereas with an existing sale, you might be purchasing a home with a water heater that's 15 years old and can give out on you any single day, new construction, that isn't an issue. And as a result, while it may seem like you're paying a lot more at closing for the new home, over time, because you won't have to be replacing a lot of the appliances and utilities, it should even out to where the costs are more or less about the same. So while the list prices may be a little intimidating at first, keep in mind that you are paying more upfront to have the most up-to-date home as possible. Okay, the next con of purchasing new construction is unforeseen association fees. This is a big one that I see all the time. If you're purchasing in a high-rise or mid-rise building in the city or in some sort of townhome complex, you'll be part of a homeowners association that'll charge you a monthly fee for all the exterior maintenance. Now the challenge with new construction is that these bigger complexes and buildings have never been fully occupied. So while the builders and the developers will believe that the association fee that they have listed should be enough, chances are what ends up happening is that once everybody moves in, into the building, into the community, they realize that after a year or two, for example, their water bills are a lot higher than expected. And they're actually going to need a whole lot more money from every single owner each month as part of their association dues to be able to cover that expense. And so all the owners get hit with what's called a special assessment or just a major increase in their monthly fees. Now, unfortunately, this does happen a fair amount of times because these numbers can be difficult to predict. To be safe, I always expect a listed association fee on a new construction home to be around 20% higher after the first year or two of living there. That way it should cover from any surprises. If it happens to be less than that, great, you just saved yourself some money. Okay, moving on to the next con of new construction, it's going to be the delays. Of course, this will only apply if you're purchasing a project that hasn't been fully completed yet. It is not uncommon for builders and developers to get a little overzealous with their timeline, only to find out that unfortunately seen issues with the labor, the local government, or supply chain may have pushed a project back. Now, in most cases, these delays are only about a month, two, or maybe even three. However, there are some rare instances where they could push towards a year or even more. So if you're somebody that needs to be in the Chicago metro area by a particular date or season or whatever it may be, purchasing an unfinished new construction project may be a little bit too much risk for you to handle. All right, and let's talk about the last con of purchasing new construction homes, and that's that the area or community that you might be buying in likely won't be fully developed. While there are certainly new construction buildings and projects in very developed neighborhoods, a lot of them are done on empty lots that have just been acquired and a whole new sub neighborhood or town is being formed at the same time. Now naturally, as these buildings are coming up, things like sidewalks and stores and other amenities are being built and they might not all be built at the same time. So there is a world that exists where you buy into a new community home only for it to feel a little bit abandoned. You don't have the same amenities as you would elsewhere and it will take some time for all of that to build up again before it starts really feeling like a developed neighborhood. Also keep in mind, if you are purchasing in a newer construction neighborhood, you're gonna to have to deal with a lot of construction for probably the foreseeable future. This means noise and a lot of inconvenience. So it is something to keep in mind if you're looking into projects like that. All right, so there you have it. Those are the pros and cons of buying new construction homes here in the Chicago metro area. I'm hoping that after watching this video, you have more or less of an idea if it's something you should seriously consider or if it's something you should totally scratch off your list. Thank you so much for watching. If you're looking to find out more about what it's like to live in the Chicagoland area, feel free to stick around in this channel. Otherwise, I'll catch you on the next video.